I have some very difficult news to share this morning. We've just learned that our colleague, meteorologist Mike Hamernick, has passed away. We learned uh, just a few minutes ago he had been battling lung cancer for quite some time now. He's not been on the air for the last few weeks. Uh, he was a regular on our weekend newscasts on the weekend mornings and occasionally on the evenings. Filled in often for Morgan and Paul here on the morning show. Just one of the nicest guys yes, out there really and nice a fantastic uh, meteorologist. Uh, we learned this information from a tweet from his account. This is from his sister who is writing. Uh, Kathleen, he says that uh, he is, she is here with the heartbreaking news that our dear meteorologist died this morning from lung cancer. He was home surrounded by love and at peace. Please know that he is cherished by all of you, his Twitter followers, and of course, weather enthusiasts. I know everybody knows Mike so well. He's been with uh, CLTV WGN for nearly 20 years. He joined CLTV in 2002, and then he added WGN duties in 2005. He was a Chicago native. He knew so much about Chicago, um, and he had such a passion for weather, and that really started when he was six years old when a microburst felled many of the large elm trees on his family's north side block in Rogers Park. By the time he was eight years old, he began collecting and studying weather maps provided to him by Chicago weather legend Harry Volkman, who was a longtime chief meteorologist right, yeah. here at WGN. And WGN was truly a family affair. This is a pretty neat story, too. Mike's father, Donald Hammernick, worked at WGN as a staff musician for Bozo Circus and Artist Showcase. He studied meteorology at the University of Wisconsin at Madison, then worked in Iowa, Minnesota. True Midwest boy, true Chicago man. Yeah, um, just a really, yes. uh, really sad day for us this morning yeah. here. Uh, Mike Hammernick just turned uh, 60 years old. I believe in, uh, in, yeah. in uh, February. So uh, all of us just really sad this morning. Of course, we are sending our love and our thoughts and our prayers to Mike's family.